All right, welcome to the little lesson on variables and random values. We're going to use it to do some uh, good stuff. We're going to get the burger firing out bananas at some random angles and random rate. Now, it does use a file that we've provided. So if you don't have the hamburger or banana file, load it up. Go grab that from the resource folder. And now we'll really start. Game Maker in the room settings tab has something called speed and it's set to 30 by default. What the 30 means is that Game Maker is redrawing the screen 30 times every second. It checks for keyboard input 30 times a second. It moves the pieces around 30 times a second. It calculates 30 times a second. It draws 30 times a second. It, the cycle repeats, right? Calculate, move, draw, calculate, move, draw, and that just repeats really fast. Really good games might do this at 60 frames a second or 100 frames a second. 30 is a very safe speed that I'll always be using in all these tutorials. Now, the reason we're telling you about this speed variable here is because every object, like the burger, has an event. And this event is called step. It has nothing to do with footprints. Step is a special event, very useful. That happens every single time the program steps through this cycle. So 30 times a second, the burger's step event will run whatever code you put in here. So for instance, if I take some code in here and I say, hey, burger, make your X position go up by 1. That's a variable that belongs to the burger, and I make it go up we should see the burger move along. Now, how fast will it move along? Well, it's going to run this code 30 times a second because we've placed it in the step. I don't have to hit a key, press a button, wait for a collision. This code just automatically happens. Let's check it out. Very exciting. OK, so it works. You have to be careful what you put in step, because if you put too much code in step, you have a lot being done a lot of the time. It could slow the program down. Now I'm going to take that out. I'm going to do something different in step here. Let's get to the idea of random values. I'm going to make a new variable right here in the step. I'm going to call it num. And I want num to be a random number between 1 and 100. So I don't want to say 77 or it'll be 77 every single time. I want this to be a random number. One of the random commands is irandom range. I is for integer, which means no decimal numbers will come back. It will just be nice numbers like 7, 28, 82. And random, because it's, sorry, because it's random. And range, because you give it a range. Pick from 1 all the way up to 100. So when this runs, who knows what num could be left at. It truly will be random. Now, what we're going to do is use our if statements that we've recently learned about. And we're going to ask if the num variable happened to come out to be the number 1, do whatever I put between the braces, right? Do this block of code. What code am I going to put here? I'm going to fire banana. So let's uh, call the banana berry instance create x comma y object banana. Hey Barry, set your speed to six. Hey Barry, set your direction to. I'm just going to fire these downward for now, and that's really it. So the nice thing here is, is 1 in 100, right? Not a very big chance of it being a 1, but we are doing the step method 30 times a second. So we're looking at about every 3 seconds or so. Let's see what happens. Oh, I didn't fire down. I fired up because I put 90, but that's okay. So it's still working here. Sometimes you get a long gap. Okay, it is random. Sometimes you get them firing out quick. Okay, so that is the nature of random. We'll learn different ways, right? If you want at a fixed rate, easy to do later on.
Anyways, what you probably want is you probably want something more like this. If I take that range down 1 to 3, well, it's going to find a 1 much more frequently. There you go. Now that's a bit weird. Now, the other thing I want to let you know about the random method is this is a number. This is like saying number equals 57. Okay, this goes and runs a bunch of its own code and spits out a number for you. So wherever you use a number, you can use the iRandomRange command. For instance, speed. Let's make the speed random. Let's make it fire from 1 to 6. The direction. Well, we know that all the way to the right is 0. And if we cycle through the circle, we go all the way up to 359 degrees. Okay, would complete our circle for us. You don't have to say 360, because 360 would be pointing all the way to the right, and that's what 0 does. So 0 to 359 is good. Now when we run this, much more fun to watch. Okay, the banana gun. There you go. You're going to be taking this idea, because it's really useful. When you look at a game like we made, like Get the Ghosts, now you can have the ghosts randomly firing lasers at the player. Now you can have the boss randomly firing out ghosts. So that's what we're going to end up getting you guys to go and use us for, is to go modify uh, the Get the Ghost program to have a bit more function. Thanks for watching.